thank you to Chami Solis for this video topic suggestion. She sent it to me in my Instagram DMs. Also, thank you to everyone on my Patreon for all the video suggestions that I'm sure will be plentiful for August and even in September. So if you didn't know, I collect video request ideas over on my Patreon and YouTube channel memberships. So based on what people there suggest, those are mainly the videos that I try to create for the following month. So this video's topic is feelings or tundet in Finnish. Tundet. Tun Death. I'm sorry, you can probably hear a bit of rain in the background. Sadetta, sadetta, behind you. Sadetta teidän takana, koska ulkona sataa. Sadetta. Okay, anyways, the topic of this video is tunteet. Tunteet. So let's jump into it. So to talk about tunteet, Tunteet, tunteet in Finnish. There's actually two ways, two main ways you can kind of express your tunteet. Two main sentence forms you can use. So one way is saying olen, blah 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 blah, or on in Puhetkieli, olen, na 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 na, or on, da 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 da. This translates to I am. So you can say I am whatever, insert the feeling. So same way you can say on blank. Okay, and the other form is to say minua, do 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 do, insert feeling, or puhekeli would be mua. Mua, do 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 do, insert the feeling. So in English, this would also translates, translate to I am blah 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 so they both mean I am and then you insert the feeling there so in the minua mua form you have to remember that the person feeling the feelings will be in the partitive form so for example Sydney ja vasutta Sydney's tired so Sydney needs to be in partitive which is the a a ending so Sydney ja vasutta Sydney is feeling tired. Uh, Kimia jännittää. Kimi is feeling excited, nervous. Kimia jännittää. So Kimi plus a partitive ending. Jännittää. Kimia jännittää. Or Paulia pelottaa. Pauli plus a partitive ending. Pelottaa. Pauli is feeling scared. Paulia pelottaa. So don't worry about those words too much. Just remember if you're using the minua or mua form, you have to have the person who is having the feelings in partitive. That's the main point to remember at this point. Oh no, it's pouring rain. I hope you can hear me above the rain sound. Anyways, you might be asking, well, why is there two ways to state things? Well, in English, we kind of have this too. Whereas in English, you can say, I'm tired. Or you can also say, I'm feeling tired. I'm tired and I'm feeling tired. You can have the same similar distinction in Finnish where you can say things two different ways. If you understand the difference in English, it's pretty much the same thing. If you're very into linguistics, you'll probably be able to point out this specific difference between I'm tired and I'm feeling tired, but essentially it means the same thing, right? So you're expressing that you are tired. I'm tired, therefore I'm feeling tired. And in fin Finnish, we can have this too. So for example, you can say olen or on in puhekkeli, on vasunu, on vasunu, which means I'm tired. I am tired on vasunu, but you can also say mua vasutta, which in my head sounds more like I'm feeling tired. Mua vasutta, I'm feeling tired, whereas olen vasunut on vasunut is more like I'm tired. I'm tired on vasunut and minua vasutta, I'm feeling tired. So vasunut 
is to be tired. Then we move on to to be afraid or frightened, which is olen pelokas. Olen pelokas. Now this, I'm trying to show you here different feelings that can be used in both the olen and the moa form. Some of them only work in one form, which I'll get to at the end, but that's why I'm going through a bit like more uncommon feelings here in the beginning, just because they are able to be used in these both forms. So olen pelokas. Olen pelokas or on pelokas would translate to I'm a frightened person. I'm a frightened person. This isn't um, super common to be used. Um, olen pelokas, but you might see it used in like olin pelokas lapsi. I was a scared, frightened child. It's kind of more like you were a scaredy cat. Like you were like a very some like a child that was very nervous about everything you're very scared of lots of situations and different things that's what pelokas means like you it was kind of who you were you were a scared person so olen pelokas i'm like a frightened person um whereas mua pelotta mua pelotta means i'm scared so if you're on a roller coaster and you're feeling scared you might say Mua pelotta. I'm scared. Mua pelotta. I'm feeling scared. I'm scared. I am afraid. Okay? And then olen hermostunut. Olen hermostunut. Hermostunut. I'm nervous. This is another word for being nervous. Olen hermostunut. Fun fact, hermo is a nerve a nerve like in your body so hermostunut is nervous it also has english kind of like nerve is a nerve <laughs> mm, kind of similar right hermostunut or mua hermostutta i'm feeling nervous mua hermostutta 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 Mua hermostutta. I'm feeling nervous. Then we have another one. Olen ahdistunut. Ahdistunut. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. Olen ahdistunut. On ahdistunut. Or mua ahdista. Mua ahdista. I'm feeling anxious. Mua ahdista. Tää pieni huone. I'm feeling anxious about this, or like this small room is making me feel anxious. Mua ahdista. Okay, let's take one more example. So, on itkuinen. Okay, this form isn't like that popular, but the next one is, so that's why I included it. On itkuinen means I'm teary, like teary about to cry. Um, but then you can also say mua itketta. I feel like crying. I'm feeling teary. I'm feeling like I'm about to cry. Also, fun fact, you can also just drop the pronoun all together if it's clear who is feeling something. So in most cases, if you're talking about yourself, you can just drop the pronoun completely and you can just say pelotta. People know that you're talking about yourself usually if you're just saying pelotta um, and it means I'm scared. If you're on a roller coaster and you're at the top and you're like pelotta, uh, people know that means I'm scared. It means I'm scared, right? If you're in a haunted house and all of a sudden you scream pelotta, it means I'm scared. Um, same way if you're in bed and you're like oh vasutta, it means I'm tired. Vasutta. Or you're on the bus and it's been one hour and you're really wanting to get to your destination and you're just like zoning out, looking out the window, oh, vasutta, it means I'm tired, right? <laughs> then some feelings only work in the olen blah 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 form. So we'll go over those ones now. So on onnellinen, I'm happy. Onnellinen. On onnellinen. 
olen onnellinen, on onnellinen, I'm happy. Because if you say mua onnetta, you can in theory twist the feeling to fit the sentence, but it just sounds very, very wrong and weird. So don't even pay attention to that form. It is always going to be on onnellinen. I'm happy. But I would say the more used phrase for being happy is iloinen. Iloinen. Um, technically, this translates to joy. If you type it into a translator, I think it gives out the word joy. But if you're talking about, oh, I'm really happy today or I'm happy, I would say in most cases people will just use the word iloinen um, to mean happy. Because joy and happy are kind of the same thing as well, right? Um, so yeah, if you're wanting to say I'm happy, you say on iloinen. On iloinen. On iloinen että sata. On iloinen että kuvaan videota YouTube-kanavalleni. Um, stuff like this. Then we have I'm sad, which is on surullinen. On surullinen. On surullinen että sata vettä. On surullinen. On surullinen että kesä loppuu. Hmm. <laughs> on surullinen. I'm sad. Then we have on vihainen. <laughs> on vihainen. I'm angry. On vihainen. Vihainen. I'm angry. On vihainen. Ah, on behind it. <laughs> I'm angry. Then, ooh, Zen mode activated. On rauhallinen. I'm calm. On rauhallinen. On rauhallinen. Rauha means peace. 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 So, rauhallinen is I'm peaceful. I'm calm. I'm you know, not angry. Olen rauhallinen. On rauhallinen. And then, on energinen. I'm energetic. On, woo, energinen. <laughs> on energinen. Okay, so we have on iloinen or onnellinen, iloinen. I'm happy. On surullinen, I'm sad. On vihainen, I'm angry. On rauhallinen, I'm peaceful. I'm uh, calm, on energinen, I'm energetic. Um, there's one phrase you will hear a lot when you're in Finland and it's not a particularly YouTube friendly word so I need to, um, you're gonna have to use your imagination to figure out what this is, but it's mua vi If you've been studying Finnish I'm sure you've come across this word. Just insert the T's into the bleep yourself. Moi, this is a family-friendly channel, therefore you're gonna have to come up with it yourself. So, um, in a polite way, uh, this means you're feeling, or I'm feeling, angry, um, annoyed, upset. Uh, you'll hear a lot of guys, youth, exclaiming this out in the streets. Um, your friends, I don't know. It's it's a very commonly used phrase, but obviously, unfortunately, I can't demonstrate this to you. So you can just practice it by yourself. <laughs> um, and yeah, that is pretty much it for the feelings. Um, those were just some of the basic feelings I came up with. Hopefully this made sense. I started this video thinking it would be quite straightforward and then I realized no, Finnish is never straightforward. We always have to have some kind of weird things happening that just happen and they don't really make that much sense, but there you go. Um, <laughs> if you have any extra questions, please leave them in the comments below and I guess I will see you in my next video. Moikka!